Hello, and thanks for watching this short video on the completely revamped online banking in QuickBooks Pro Premier and Enterprise Solutions. It's actually now called Bank Feeds, and you can access it under the banking menu. I mean, we've been able to do online banking within QuickBooks desktop products, and it's in Mac, and of course, the downloaded transactions in QuickBooks Online forever. You know, and so, but we've really wanted to revamp the workflow, the user interface, just to make it faster, less clicks, and just more of a spreadsheet module, if you will, a lot easier to read. You know, you still have the register mode, and then you have the side-to-side -side mode, but this by far, from my opinion, is just way superior, I think, and it still does the same kind of stuff, plus some, particularly with renaming rules. So you can go from banking bank feeds to, you know, bank feed center, and of course, here's where you would connect to your account. Uh, this setup uh, wizard is much simple, more simplified. Uh, less pages to go through, much more intuitive. And then you can always check out your uh, on the list of participating financial institutions if your bank is supported with online banking within QuickBooks. Or from the left navigation panel, you can add it to the top icon bar, just click on Bank Feeds, and it's going to go ahead and load it in the next window there. Okay, at this point, to get some real estate back, I'm going to minimize my left-hand panel. Love that. And here's you know the Bank Feeds main window. Right? It shows my bank account, the balance uh, from the as far as the bank thinks I should have, and here's what I have in QuickBooks, and then there's 24 transactions are waiting to be added. I can create, uh, as long as it's supported with your bank and you have it set up, you can create new online checks, pay bills, transfer funds, etc. cetera. Um, contact your bank from here, or, um, and then send items or activate another account. I'm gonna go ahead and click on transaction list, and that's gonna open the list of 24 transactions that I need to uh, work on. So I'll go ahead and click on that, and it's going to load for a second. And here, <clears throat> excuse me, are the transactions that I'm going to go ahead and work on, just to give you an idea. So, of course, there's logarithms involved in the back end where QuickBooks will auto-match transactions. So right away in my, you know, in my register, this is new to QuickBooks. This is already in the register. It's already been auto-matched. So I'm going to go ahead and click on these four. And, you know, again, the workflow kind of goes left to right, and like a spreadsheet, um, and you know, I can show what type of the transaction it is. You can uh, filter by status, or type, or you know, date range, who it's downloaded as, the payee, etc. And since I have a payee, I don't have one on this one, so I'm going to go ahead and actually quickly under batch actions at the bottom add approve, and that will actually take that. Or you'll see the action timeline. What's the next logical step? But I'm going to go ahead and approve them all, uh, just these three. It says three have been added and one is still waiting. Again, I don't have the PAE field, PAE field there. So let's go back to the need your review. And I'm going to go down to the, the amount for 2567. And I actually know who that is. And it's going to be for Daigle Lighting. And the account's going to be repairs and maintenance. And it's going to create a renaming rule that will automatically categorize this. And, and anything with this name is going to be for Daigle Lighting. And I'll actually create a rule because... Maybe it's not the best example. I'm sure you have a more real life example, but just very helpful when I go ahead and check it off and then go over to Quick Add. It actually created a renaming rule. So you'll, it, these are created automatically and then you can decide whether to reject the rule or to click OK. Okay, and let's go into that rules section. And we'll come back. So I've made one change, right? 19 still need my review. So the, the workflow is there and it's just very simple. And I like the spreadsheet view. It's just a, I feel a radical departure from the side to side. And then register mode, I know people love it, but it's just really old. <laughs> okay. Anyway, no offense, of course. So rules, I'm going to right click new. And we'll just say credit because I have used this term for this particular person. The description contains. And if it just contains credit in it, the word credit, or you could have depot for Home Depot, I'm going to rename it to, I'm going to choose Jason, just so you can see. When I click Save, there were three or four credits on that window. Um, and now they've all been named with a pay of Jason Birch. And then I can go ahead and choose my account for that. And go ahead and actually, let's say it was advertising promotion. So it's very simple to go ahead and choose what it, what it would be from your chart of accounts there on the list. And then I can go ahead and just check off those three. And go ahead and add approve them. So a pretty simple workflow uh, to work on it again. It's like you're on a spreadsheet. You have your renaming rules. They are created automatically. 
or you know you can go in and add them yourself uh, to link things like you know when you, when you get from the bank and they're not sure the payee or they add some language after the payee name you don't long, no longer have to create aliases all right uh, or have multiple vendors for this just very simple to go ahead and check them all off and add them in a multiple way or one at a time here's some more of the action items that you'd have quick add add more details you can even match to an existing transaction so this one might be in a, for an existing transaction i can click on this it's going to open up uh, where it might be a, a you know show all transactions doesn't find any for that match but if you had one you could see it there and again they're made to automatically add it so in the auto section you'll see that so that's banking feeds the renaming rules uh, and much simpler yet i feel more efficient for workflow when you're reviewing the transactions that need attention that you've downloaded from your bank or credit card institution and that's this is supported in uh, the new bank feeds is in uh, quickbooks pro premier and enterprise of 2014. Have a great day.